All right, good afternoon. Um, hi, I'm Kimbo with A Girl in a Glue Gun, and I am making a quillow or a planket. I've heard them called both ways, so you'll have to tell me if you even have heard of that or if you call it something else. But I actually bought the fabric last year. I sat on it forever. I never got it done, and then the weather got warm, and nobody wants to cuddle up in a blanket when it's 75 degrees outside. So finally, the weather's starting to get cooler, and so I'm like, all pumped to make them. So let me show you what it is in case you have no idea what it is. A quillow or a blanket. It's a quilt or a pillow or a blank uh, pillow blanket. Blanket, pillow blanket. So what I love about them is they're super easy. You can actually even buy store-bought blankets and add a scrap piece of fabric for it. And we go to a lot of football games or basketball games. So it's perfect because you can throw it in the back of your car. They stay looking nice and neat. You can sit on it on those hard bleachers. And then if you're cold, you can pull it out and it's a blanket. See? And like I said, it's really easy. I actually, one of my most popular YouTube videos are how to finish the edges, four different ways of finishing the edges of fleece blankets. Um, there's a one that's sewed and then the rest of them don't involve sewing. So you will have to sew on the pocket, but you could finish the blanket any way you want. And like I said, you could buy a store-bought blanket <coughs> um, and add it. So I love it. I actually bought one. I mean, I made one for my husband. It's out of In-N-Out t-shirts because he's obsessed with in and out I like five guys better but whatever so he loves in and out and he buys their t-shirts all the time and he had like 20 of them so I made him a quilt all out of in and out t-shirts actually I think I have it pause let me see we just took it to a football game um, <laughs> I was gonna wash it but look it's out of in and out t-shirts I think it's upside down that's how obsessed this man is Anyway, I made him one. Here's the pocket for it. And he it's like a parlor trick. Like he goes to parties or he goes somewhere and he's got his blanket. He's like, look, watch this. It folds up into a pillow. So it's kind of fascinating. Also, another thing that I like about it, it's a pocket and it's at the bottom of the quilt. So like if you're lounging on the couch, you can put your feet in the pocket and it keeps your toes all nice and toasty and they don't um, fall out. So that's another added benefit. Don't jump up and get something though because you'll you'll fall and you'll break something. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I did it using a piece of paper. <laughs> because guess what? It's a huge blanket. I'm gonna, I am gonna demonstrate how to fold it up because that is the trickiest part. The sewing part is super easy. Learning how to fold it up to fit back into the pillow is a little bit tricky. Once you do it, you're good to go, but figuring it out is a little bit hard. So I have a piece of paper. We're gonna pretend like this is our blanket, right? You have either bought it from the store, you have made it, whatever. So this is the blanket. What you're going to do is you're gonna measure using a bigger measuring tape than this, because this will take you a long time because blankets are a lot bigger than this. You're gonna measure this into thirds. One, two, three, okay? So this is our blanket. We're measuring it into thirds, and we're gonna measure. And then you're going to fold up the top. You can measure this part so this blanket is not as long as this normal piece of paper. So actually only this one folds up one, two, three, four, five. My blanket actually only folds up to four. So depending on what size your blanket is, is how, what you're going to fold it up to. Okay. So you're going to figure out this size right here. See, I've got my marks. It's a third of this and then whatever length, it just depends if you're making a really long one or a lap blanket it's going to be different for this each time. Like I said, this one's only four. So this one's five, so it's a third and a fifth. That's what we're figuring out for right here. And that's where it's going to sit on the blanket. So this is our scrap, or this is our piece of fabric, and that's where you're going to sew it, just like this. Now you can sew, so when I buy the material, I pick one that I like, not that I like the fabric better, but I'll pick one that I want to be the pocket, and I'll buy um, probably about a half a yard more and that's what I'll use to make it. 
if you have a bunch of scrap fleece or so I recommend using fleece because it doesn't fray guys I, I you know anytime you don't have to do hems and stuff it's okay in my book so and fleece is fuzzy so you can buy scrap fabric you can use scrap fab, scrap fabric or you can um, just buy extra when you're buying the material for your fabric and so my husband's I gotta find the pocket my husband's matches I did put a little in and out decal it's upside down. so it just blends in so you can't see the pocket you don't even really know it's there right this one I did so the pocket stands out so it doesn't really matter what fabric you can do contrasting you could do something totally different you can put a cute decal on it um, the one that I made the one that's the link in the profile I actually did flowers all over it but let me tell you when you are folding it up and it's sitting in a pillow this is the side you're gonna see so if you're gonna do a decal ooh, you know what heat transfer vinyl would be really fun on this. <laughs> just saying so um, if you're gonna put a decal you might want to put it on both sides it will be seen on both sides so okay back to our blanket this is our blanket we figured out the math of how big our scrap fabric needs to be we're going to place it right in the middle right at the top just like that and then hang on I can see myself on my Facebook page on my computer and it's tripping me out all right and then you're gonna sew and it's gonna take three stitches the, the tricky part is to remember you want it naturally you want to leave the top open you are leaving this open right here you're gonna sew this across the top and down the side and this is the opening right there nice and easy right one two three so this is what your blankets gonna look like and then when you go to fold it up it's gonna be a little tricky so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you let me know if you have any questions because like I said it's easy once you get it but watching it the first time is a little bit tricky okay so let me try to flip you around all right here's our blanket let me all right so when you go to fold it up you're actually going to put the pillow I've sewed right here sewn right here this is my opening facing out you're actually gonna put that on the back so hide that pillow the pocket part and then you're going to fold it up into thirds you're gonna fold it until you can see it right there straighten it out fold this other one over straighten it out so the pocket so right there and then I'm gonna fold this up so this one's force so I just kind of eyeball okay so we've got it all folded up and it's sitting on top of our pillow like our pocket right our pockets on the back and our blankets all folded up sitting on top of it you're going to reach inside hold on to the corners flip the pocket over the folded part it's like a magic trick so this one's a new one I just sewed it so it's a little bit tight like once you use it a couple times the fleece has a little bit more give to it but there's a lot of blanket shoved in this cute little pocket see keeps it nice so you could actually do one for each of your kids put them in the back of the car nice and stacked onto each other so every time you go to a football game or a basketball game everybody can grab their pillows I like them in the car especially because if we're traveling um, everybody always needs pillows or blankets you know they want to rest their heads and blankets without one of these pockets kind of unfold and they never stay quite as nice so that is a pillow quillow or a blanket whatever you want to call it it's really fun the whole tutorial step by step is in the link that I posted in the description and um, I also have a YouTube video on how to finish off the edges of fleece blankets so double duty right there for you
All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.